At its most basic, masking covers up a multitude of sins backstage, like the unsightly walls of the stage, not to mention all the bits and bobs needed by the production. A props table, for example. Maybe even a clothes rack ready for a quick costume change between scenes. Places for the actors to sit while they wait for their big entrance. <laughs> the list goes on. Here we use a psych or cyclorama to hide the rear wall and backstage entrances. Black curtains, or drapes, are also often used. Let's add some vertical masking, something to cover those horrible walls. These are our tab curtains, or legs as they're also known, usually made of a heavy black fireproof fabric. Of course, our audience, particularly those sitting in the front row, can still see the lighting bars and possibly even the roof of the stage, so let's cover those too. One, two, three, and four. Sometimes more, depending on the size of the stage. This is our horizontal masking, our border curtains. Now let's take a look overhead to get a better idea as to how sight lines affect our placement of the masking curtains. These are best viewed from the auditorium, from the front row seats being the closest to the stage. When properly constructed and sized as appropriate to sight line requirements, all curtains should totally mask off all unwanted areas from audience view. We want to match this on the other side of the stage too. And if we turn to the side of the stage, the same applies to the border curtains as well. There, now you know all about sight lines and masking. Next time, we'll look at masking flats on constructed stage sets.